Hey guys, and welcome to the first day of seventh grade science. So this is NTI day one. We're going to just kind of spend some time going through um, the syllabus and your vocabulary sheet, what you're going to be doing in chapter one. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the syllabus. So this is all linked in to your Google Classroom. When you get your binder, you will have a sheet it's kind of for all the classes, so you'll see the biology and the eighth grade science and everything on there. But if you are seventh grade, you need to go to Google Classroom and log on to that. Now, if you're just working off the videos on the jump drive, um, then you just need to make sure that you're looking at that in your binder, okay? Because you'll have that seventh grade syllabus there in your binder, okay? All right, so here it is online. We'll zoom in just a little bit. All right. Um, so as you can see, this has the school's self or the school's phone number. This has my email, and that's directly linked in. You can just click on that, and it will open up an email to me. There's your Google Classroom with your code on it. Um, the Remind app with your code, and then this links to Zoom. And my office hours are 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you'll actually see that link and code on your weekly. Um, work list okay all right so the kind of the thing that's going to go with your um textbook okay so you're going to be using the glencoe science textbook and i do have your seventh grade version online but throughout the year um the concepts and the standards that are covered in seventh grade some of those are actually included in the eighth grade textbook and the same thing kind of goes for my eighth graders. Some of the content that they are covering is covered in the seventh grade textbook. So you'll see that both of those are listed on here. And so when you get to Google Classroom or, or if I need you um, to work on something, if there's anything that's different from what the textbook that you're going to get, and I'm actually going to only send those home to my kids that do not have any internet because we only have like 20, um, 20 some textbooks. Some of them, I guess, got left home in the last NTI um, back in the spring. Okay, so you may get some different um, textbooks or prints of textbooks throughout the year. All right, so uh, seventh grade science, these are your kind of core um, ideas that we're going to be discussing and the things that you should be able to do um, and all the different aspects that fall under those when we are finished up in May. OK, um, so the first part that we kind of look at is energy um, and how um, energy moves and is transferred um, from one object to another. So uh, potential kinetic, the conservation of energy. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. Where does it go? OK, what happens to it? And like I said, all the different aspects that fall under that. Do we have thermal energy? Do we have, you know, do we have radiation, conduction? How does that energy move? Um, electrical energy, uh, wave energy, light energy, all of the different types of energy that we um, will come into contact with. Um, physical and chemical properties of the different elements, um, the conservation of those elements within the changes and movement through the Earth system, what happens um, to nitrogen, what happens to oxygen, what happens to carbon, um, where where does it all go? How does it change? How does it go from one object to another? Because remember, like I said, it's neither created nor destroyed. It just changes form. Um, how energy flows through the ecosystem, and this is going to include photosynthesis. Hopefully you have a kind of a background about photosynthesis and plants and where all that comes from. But where does that move? How does that happen? And then we'll look at cell structures and functions. Um, including the growth and reproduction of cells. So DNA, mitosis, meiosis, how those things um, separate and change. And then kind of one of the last ones is your nervous system and how that your body um, recognizes and processes um, outside feedback and information. Okay, So lots of stuff that we're going to be looking at. Um, if you look at your course content, this is kind of how we're going to move through everything and how we're going to move through the um, process um, and processes of um, seventh grade science. Okay. 
All right, then we get into the grading. So you basically have four different things that you are going to um, be graded on. And so this is any practice activities, anything that we do during the week, um, labs, anything like that that I send home. And those are going to be worth 50 points. You have your vocabulary sheet that you'll get every Monday that is worth 20 points, just putting down definitions. Um, your weekly quizzes, that is your vocabulary, all those good things. Those are also worth 50 points. And then finally, at the end, we have our um, unit assessments and everything that's in there. So that will be um, those big 100 point, 100 point assignments. OK, um, you will be graded on a 100 point scale. So total points um, weighted out and calculated out into a 100 point scale using the RCS grading scale. So A's, B's, C's, D's, all that good stuff. The big thing is you're missing assignments. So if you, we, you are expected to complete all of your assignments within the week with NTI, um, know your expectations, know what we want you to do. We want you to do your best. We want you to do all the activities. If you have issues, if you have difficulties with internet, if you have difficulties with finding time to actually sit down and do that work, please contact us. Please do not wait until the last minute or wait until you know, September 21st, when we're looking at coming back in the classroom and say, hey, I didn't get any of this done. I mean, like, I'm going to know that you didn't get any of it done. But um, don't wait until then to tell me that you're having trouble, that you need help. OK, um, if you do not have those assignments turned in, you're going to kind of have two options. You are either going to be required to meet with me um, about those assignments, getting those assignments done, what we need to do to complete those. Or you're going to have to have a Zoom meeting with me. Um, so either in person coming here to the school or a Zoom meeting. Okay. Any missing assignments that are not turned in will be put in as a zero in the grade book. Okay. Um, your unit assessments. I do. Um, so we'll do unit. If you go back up here and kind of look at the course content. So you have... Um, kind of anywhere from three to four units within a module um, cluster. So you have, it's like the first one we're going to look at is potential and kinetic energy. Um, then we're going to look at waves, whether they're mechanical waves, light waves, um, looking at magnetism and gravity. So kind of just all that that falls under air physical science for um, uh, Seventh grade science. Sorry, guys. Um, so once you take those, you'll take one of those, every, like whenever we finish that unit. And I, I like for you guys to get an 80. I don't think that should be difficult. I don't think that should be hard for you guys to achieve uh, that 80. But pretty much if you haven't gotten an 80% on that, it kind of tells me that you haven't really grasped that content. So I don't feel like moving on um, to the overall test would be beneficial to you okay so I do like for you guys to have an 80% if you're not getting to that then that's where you know we kind of step in and say hey what parts are you not getting what are we looking at which activities did you have trouble with um, what concepts are you having trouble with and we kind of break down those assessments on the unit level and get you kind of caught back up okay all right we do do writings in science so you have lab reports you have research projects you have CERs so claim evidence and reasoning uh, where you create a claim about a phenomenon or something that you have witnessed in nature you collect evidence about it or you research evidence about it and then you give your reasoning on why you think uh, that these things these things happened okay um, with these writing assignments I will still give you instruction on how to write what to do um, so, but just be prepared that there is writing in science. Please make sure that you contact me. You have so many things that have, um, my contact information in it. Um, uh, this syllabus, there is an entire PowerPoint slide, uh, that's in one of our first videos that you can go over and look at, um, and save and make sure that you have all my information. Okay. So there's no reason that if you're having trouble, that you shouldn't contact me and make sure that, you know, you're understanding what needs to happen. Okay. All right. So let's go back. So that's your syllabus and that is under 
class materials. And this is general. So this is the virtual classroom where you can find links and link through there. This is the codes and links. I'll kind of open that up for you guys to look at real quick. Um, so this is all the websites. So this is the Google Classroom. Uh, this is your Quizlet. This can actually be downloaded on your phones. Um, this is our Zoom link. This is actually my personal meeting room where you can just log in um, and contact me on that Monday, Wednesday um, schedule. These are the Remind app codes. Um, you can use the app or you can just text that. You do not have to have the app. And sometimes I wish I didn't have the app. Like I just use the app as a teacher, but as a parent, um, I think it would probably be 10 times easier just to have it through my text because what happens is if I send you one and you have the app and you have it in on your text messaging, then um, it sends you two, two messages every time. So it can get annoying, but at least it's contact. Um, these are all of the online textbooks. So remember what I showed you guys for you guys in seventh and eighth grade, these, um, you're going to use both of those textbooks at varying times. Um, so make sure that you have that together. And these are just online versions like practice stuff. Okay. So this is not actually the textbook. The textbook will be in um, Google Classroom. Okay. So you've got to make sure that you um, have access to that and you can open up that chapter. These are like um, test practice material. Um, okay, all kinds of little stuff like that. And I clicked on the blue level, which is actually the eighth grade one. But you guys see what I mean? This is just kind of like the little practice stuff, slideshows and, and different things like that. Uh, All right. Um, all right. So for today, today is day one. So this is your textbook. Okay. Chapter one, your nature of science. So you'll see you have like your introductory pages. Okay. Then we get into the nature of science. And like I said, this is exactly like the textbook that you would flip open and find. All right. So how science works. This is our, um, you know, what is science? What do we do? What is the purpose of a scientist? You know, why, why are we here? What are we doing? Okay. Um, so this kind of goes through some jobs. When you get to Quizlet and even through this. Okay. So this is air section questions. You have your self-check. Um I want you to go all the way to number six. Okay. So this is, like I said, day one. Okay. We're going to read section one, chapter one, section one. We're going to complete all the questions on page 11. Okay. And you can do this on paper. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with you pulling this up online and doing this on paper, or you can go out to this assignment right here. Okay. Okay. So these, this is your chapter one, section one questions. And when you open this, when you open this assignment, it will actually open for you. Like where I'm the teacher, it, it doesn't want to open it for me. It just wants to show me that it's there. Okay. But over to the right, you will see that you can either, um, add a document, create a document, or mark as done. So if you do it on paper, okay, if you do it on paper, then you want to go and mark as done. If you create a Google Doc like outside of this assignment and do these answers, then you're going to want to add that. Make sure you put your name on it. If you do create 
which is probably what I is what I would recommend. Okay, that's what I have on here. It will automatically put your name on it. It will put the name of the assignment and it will give you a fresh Google Doc for you to answer those questions on. Okay, so answer these questions. Like I said, paper is fine to send back and turn in, even if you're doing online. I'm okay with you putting it on paper and turning it in. Okay, that's not a problem. All right, the other part is your chapter one vocabulary. So this is, um, okay, so if you're doing this online, you will just open the document. It will put your name at the top. You type in your definitions, okay, put everything in there. Please be very careful, and I think I put this out on the assignment um, instructions. And I'm pretty positive I did. Don't just go to Google and type in, um, right, let me find a good one, um, like control, okay? So if you type in control or constant out in Google, or you do this lovely move, okay, where you highlight and click on it, and then you say define, okay? So it's gonna tell me, it's gonna give me this big, long, okay? You guys can't really see that, okay? But we have all of these definitions. So I guess it's occurring continuously over a period of time. The pain is constant, okay? But that has absolutely nothing to do with the scientific method, okay? That's not what we're looking for, okay? So you want to make sure that you're either using your textbook to find these or you are on a specific science dictionary website, okay? So don't, um, don't rely on Google to give you these definitions, okay? Because they're not going to be science specific, okay? Um, and, it, and it gives you all the synonyms there. Um, I mean, it kind of, just don't trust Google all the time, okay? It's a lesson for life too, all right? Um, and then you can close that. So please make sure that you are checking your textbook to find these definitions or you are finding them on a specific science website. So like you might type, if you are going to use Google, you might type in what is the definition of a constant in a science experiment or in um, the science scientific method. Okay. All right. Um, so that is your vocabulary. So those are your assignments for the day. That is all that you have to do for the first day. I know it's a lot kind of on that first day to work through, but once you get these and you're also going to have Quizlet. I don't know how many of you use Quizlet in class or anything else last year, um, but it is a vocabulary website, but I can't lot like the code is in that cheat sheet. So you can join the class like with that code, but I can't link you in. I can't link Quizlet into the Google Classroom until all you guys are in Google Classroom. All right. So um, in order for me to like share stuff into Google Classroom from Quizlet, um, I have to have you guys like in. there is to be some kids in Google Classroom. So um, until we get all that sorted, you're just going to have to kind of use the cheat sheet and log into Quizlet from there. You can download that app. And it will give you all of those um, questions. But see, this is week one. So everything is in here. And everything is in order. All right. So all the stuff that you're going to do. So there's your questions. All right. And then we'll talk about day two tomorrow. All right. But if you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to contact me in any of those ways that we have seen so far. Okay. Thanks, guys. And have a great day.